Okay, Millie Bobby Brown, Noah Snapper here on the Radio 1 Breakfast Show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, okay, we have some callers on the line who want to speak to you. Obviously, you guys star in Stranger Things, a show that has you spooked out. Yes. Thinking about things. Yes. Looking over your shoulder. Oh. Absolutely. <gasps> Not wanting to walk alone in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying if I was your age and doing that, if I was my age and doing that, I wouldn't like it. No. Sometimes I get scared when my my dog barks. I'm like, This "Ah!" this room is freaky. Yeah, it's so scary in here. But we're going to see if we can get some people on the phone with real life stories to try and freak you out this morning. Oh, cool. So real life Halloween stories. It's happening. Can't wait. Line one, we have Kurt. Hi, Kurt. Hello. 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 Do you have a dead scary story, Kurt? Oh, it was very, very scary. Let's, Let's hear, hear it. it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not, I'm, not a very, <laughs> I'm not a very superstitious person until I moved into uh, an 1850s cottage in Northamptonshire. Why did you do uh, that, Kurt? Why would you why do that? I, why did I move? I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, lots of spooky things happened in this, uh, in this house, but one story in particular happened, uh, say about nine, ten months of living there, it was um, about one, two in the morning, full moon, oh. and uh, oh. me and my girlfriend were fast, fast asleep. Anyways, this loud thud, banging <laughs> was coming up from the loft that woke us both up. Uh, and we were kind of thinking, what on earth is that? And it just carried on all through the night. Only way I could describe the noises is like um, like children running up in the loft. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Don't say children. Children is the worst thing to say. I know. I feel like children are like <laughs> the worst, the, the scariest thing. yeah. things ever. And yeah, we are them. So, and <laughs> the only thing in this loft, uh, the only things we have in this loft is like just standard stories, old toy boxes. Oh no! Um, so we were thinking, like, do we go up in the loft now? No, no, you don't. No, no, you don't. No, no we're toys in the loft, in the loft now. Exactly. So first thing in the morning, we wakes up and says, "I'll oh, just go check out what was in the loft." No. So, uh, Why, Kat? Bearing in mind, my, my girlfriend is very sort of a clean freak, so everything in the loft had a home. <gasps> what? It was absolutely spotted. So, so did the children. So, Ah! We lowered the uh, lowered the loft hatch, wiped the cobwebs off, lowered the ladder down. We got the phone out as well, started filming. Uh, lowered the ladder. Anyways, the phones they started going fuzzy, so you know ah! the, the phones just started playing up. So we slowly just start creeping up into the loft space. Uh, and anyways, the first strange thing we noticed that every single toy box, every single toy, was spilt out. There were toys broken. Oh, all right, okay. Toys oh, all this... over the lost space. However, what was really freaky was there was a children's uh, book that was sort of half open, laying out on the floor. Why is this all surround- children? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and what was surrounded by this children's book was um, about five or six uh, Barbie dolls that was sat around sat propped up around this children's book I'm done oh Barbies are so funny we're done Barbies are wait I want to hear the rest they're not my Barbies they weren't my Barbies (laughs) yeah right Kurt (laughs) but um, there was no there's no explanation for these toys being thrown out across the floor (gasps) or everything did you move we actually moved out of that house two months after oh good I'm so happy leave that house Uh, it's good advice if you ever see a Barbie reading a book it's time to move (laughs) <laughs> Time to move. Thank you. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you. Oh, that's scary. Should we have one more? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Louise, hello. <laughs> Oh, oh, this oh, I thought that was... Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> you thought Louise... Like, oh we're a big fan Louise. of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Louise. Hello. Hello. Hi. You're with Noah and Millie. Can we hear your scary story for Halloween, please? Yeah, prepared to be really scared. It's a horrible story. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. So, basically, I swapped my bed for a piano, which I know sounds a bit weird, but so my friend sleep? was moving... <laughs> Uh, well, I already had a bed. I was moving into a flat which already had a bed. Right. And I needed right. one. I thought you slept so in I the piano. The- yeah, I know. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Wait till you hear the story. So I got this piano in my flat, which was quite old. It was a bit like one of those pianos, what you'd have in in school where you'd sing hymns to it. Uh And I couldn't fit the keys properly in the piano. So you couldn't play it at all. The keys? Oh, I thought she said cheese. She said cheese in the piano. (laughs) Uh, Well, no. (laughs) So I tried to play it and there was literally no sound coming out of this piano when you hit the keys. One evening, me and my boyfriend were sat in the living room. I was by the fire. He was at the dining table. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, 
we heard this ding, 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 ding. Right. Oh, no. Right. Yeah, and we absolutely froze, stared at each other and was like, oh, my God, what was that? My boyfriend legged it out of the living room, leaving me on my uh, own. Love and I was boyfriend. Like, That's what I would leave. do. You would do that. I know, but I, I was like, please don't leave me on my own. You should run so with I got him. The courage. <laughs> I got up the courage to leg it out of the living room into the bedroom. We decided we would go to bed, and it was absolutely freezing in the bedroom, oh, and there were no, no windows no. open. Yeah, this is not the worst of it. There was no windows open, the heating was on, and I said, Luke, what's going on? He said, Louise, I think I can see two silhouettes at the end of the bed. Oh, oh, no, 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 why did you say that? No, why did you say no, that? No, it was the ghost of Elton John playing the piano! <laughs> oh! uh, well, Louise, thank you for your scary story. You're welcome. Bye, Louise. Thank you. Bye. Oh, I didn't like that one at all. Oh, no. That was awful. These mm. laughs. I've never had a scary story. No, I would me just neither. like, you I just really gotta want push it to through happen, it. though. You yeah. just gotta run in and yeah. scream. I, I, yeah, I weird. Yeah, scary stories. Um, well, thank you, Louise. Thank you, Kurt. Whose do you think this was best? I think that Kurt's was best. You think Kurt's was best? No. Which one was scarier? Yeah. Probably Kurt's. Yeah. Because, you know, the Barbies were propped up. Kurt wins. Yeah, Barbie's reading a book is weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, Millie, Noah, thank you so thank much for coming on the show. Much. Thank you. It was great to see you. Make sure you watch Stranger Things Series 2, October the 26th, Stranger Things 2. Uh, Millie, Noah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>